is a project called The Secret North. It brings together folk musicians from Scotland and Ireland and Scandinavia together for um, a week where we're in residence and everybody's written a piece and then we workshop them for a week and then we're going out on tour for eight days. The idea of it is to bring musicians from different countries and maybe different musical backgrounds together for the first time in an intense kind of rehearsing and gigging environment and just see what music can be made. Donald and I basically came up with like our musical wish list of like who we'd like to work with or, or what instrumentation we'd like. We hadn't met before, um, so you're kind of writing blind for people. You, the only idea you get of, of what they do is what you you've can glean from, from learning and listening to their own music. The advantages of new people coming together is that it's fresh, it's completely new, there's a real buzz about it. We're doing something monumental here, six pieces of music, six very individual ideas and hearts and souls in music and because we are really getting to know everybody individually and collectively we are able just by this funded project to make the very best we possibly can and I absolutely don't doubt even where are we day four and we still have three days of rehearsals to go, that it's going to be the most magnificent thing I've ever been involved in. I would say that I'm a folk musician, but not a traditional musician. But we're still using these kind of traditional forms, like we're writing a polska, we're writing a reel. It's nice when you bring the group together because you're getting ideas that you wouldn't have when you're just sitting on your own writing. And, and that's part of it as well, is like to, to inspire each other. And we all have a better sense of our own instrument than other people can write for us. So we're learning a huge amount about each other's instruments, what's possible, what's not. For me, this is just a huge learning experience, just learning from all the, all the amazing musicians around me. We just said write a piece that's approximately 10 minutes and within that you can do anything you like. So some of them are much more kind of classical sounding, some of them are much more folk. Um, some people have come along with literally just melodies for some parts and, and we've kind of arranged them as a group. Other things are totally notated out. This is probably one of the few times that I've, I've sat down and written a whole piece of, of 10 or 12 minutes long. The, the one that we did, the and then for the third time through the tune, you, you could do it the way you were doing it there with the, the double ups. And the third time I can go... Yeah. Whatever it was. When I compose, uh, yeah, the computer can play it back to me, but we're not computers. So I didn't want to have it fully formed because something might sound decent in MIDI, but, but also there's these instruments, you know? I don't know how to play the Klarsach. Uh, yeah, I can come up with suggestions for the Klarsach, but the Klarsach player is the one that's going to know what works for that instrument. I've not been composing that much in my career, so I saw this as a really good opportunity to uh, like a kick in my butt.
everybody wants to bring that, those lovely parts of each personality out in that person's music. So we're not only trying to make Moritz music sound good, we're trying to make it Moritz. And we really are, it's a really kind of flirtatious, beautiful process that's going on musically. Even the music I've written, you know, I went away and I, I listened to everyone who's here as part of the group and the way they play and the music they already make influenced what I, I wrote for this project. It's a good challenge and it makes me try and come up with solutions uh, that I wouldn't have thought of before and that really, I mean, I think that will help me in the future because I'll try and kind of think of it in a different way and what would Sondra do here, you know. I, I would think you wouldn't be able to get this in a band situation if you've been in the same band for, and I've been in bands for 10, 20 years sometimes and it, they've been great, but there's something a little bit, it's almost like this is the last week of your life, what are you going to do with five other people? It's fabulous. We're incredibly grateful to our three funders, Creative Scotland, Culture Ireland and PRSFA, for their support. Um, without them, this project couldn't be happening and we're so happy to all be making music together and, and creating. Just really exciting that this is happening here in Scotland, that we have these amazing musicians flying in from different countries to come and share their music with us. So we're just incredibly grateful to all the funders that have got on board and helped make this project happen. If I have uh played one gig with a person, I feel that I know him or her. This is just incredible music. I was in tears this morning listening to the practice stuff last night. I can't wait till it's going to sound like again in four days' time. Mm -hmm.